Hello and welcome back to our Big Coins dealer if you're interested in coin collecting or want to make some money from your pocket change. You're in the right place today. We're diving into a quarter that has sparked quite a buzz among collectors, the 2019 Lowell quarter with the D mint mark. So what makes this particular quarter so special? The 2019 D Lowell quarter isn't just any ordinary quarter, it's part of the America. The beautiful series released by the U.S. Mint this series celebrates iconic places from each state and features unique designs that honor the cultural and historical heritage of the United States. The Lowell Quarter specifically represents the Lowell National Historical Park in Massachusetts and celebrates the state's rich history of textile mills and the contributions of its female workforce. Now, you may wonder why some of these 2019 D. Lowell Quarters are selling for big money well it all comes down to rarity and condition the d mint mark on this quarter means it was minted in denver and while the quarters aren't rare on their own certain versions and conditions can make them extremely valuable the first thing that can set these quarters apart is their condition if you have a 2019 d lowell quarter that looks like it just came out of the mint and has no signs of where you might have what collectors call a mint state Quarter coins graded by professional services, like PCGS or NGC in high grades, such as MS65 or MS66, can fetch premium prices the highest. Grades MS67 and above are especially rare for circulated coins, like quarters, and are often sought after by serious collectors. The second factor to consider is any unique error or variation on your quarter you might think errors make a coin less valuable. But in the world of collecting error coins are some of the most prized finds some 2019 D. Lowell quarters have been discovered. With minting errors such as die cracks or doubling on certain features especially in the intricate design details. Value in market 2 million. These errors occur during the minting process. When the dies get worn or misaligned creating unique and rare variations that make the coin stand out from the standard ones another valuable feature to look out for is called doubling. Doubling can happen when the die shifts slightly creating a doubled image on certain parts of the coin for the lower quarter check the text and details on the worker's dress and surrounding features if you notice any doubling especially. Under magnification, you might have a valuable find on your hands in terms of values. Let's break down some recent prices in the market for these quarters for uncirculated high-grade 2019 D. Lowell Quarters collectors have been willing to pay between $50 to $100 in MS65 and MS66 grades if you happen to have one graded. At MS67 or higher, you could be looking at even more. With error coins, the value can increase significantly depending on the rarity and type of error in some cases. These error quarters have sold for hundreds of dollars and in rare instances over a thousand dollars at auctions the beauty of coin collecting is that anyone can stumble upon a valuable piece even in your pocket change or in a handful of quarters you get from the store so if you're going through your coins don't forget to check for that 2019 d lowell quarter take a close look at the condition and any possible errors and if you think you have a rare one it might be worth getting it graded by a professional service like PCGS or NGC grading can authenticate and verify the quality of your coin, which can dramatically increase its resale value. Another tip for collectors or enthusiasts who want to hunt for these quarters in top condition is to look for rolls of quarters from banks or even sealed sets from the U.S. Mint searching through these rolls can sometimes yield high quality coins in great condition. And who knows you might just find a rare error along the way in summary the 2019 D. Lowell. Quarter is a fascinating coin that has a lot going for it from its unique historical design to its potential for high grades and valuable errors. It's a piece worth looking out for whether you're a seasoned collector or a casual enthusiast. It's exciting to think that a simple quarter could be worth so much. We're diving into the 1981 Washington quarter dollar with the Philadelphia Mint Mark, or the P Mint Mark. You might have come across this coin in your spare change, or even in an old jar of coins at home, and you may not have thought much of it. However, some of these quarters could actually be worth a lot of money. So, stick around as we explore what makes these 1981 quarters valuable, 
how to identify them, and what collectors are willing to pay for them. First, let's talk a little bit about the background of the 1981 Washington Quarter. Washington Quarters have been a staple in American coinage since 1932, featuring the profile of George Washington on the front, or obverse side. These quarters were initially minted to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. The design was so popular that it became the standard for quarters ever since. Now, let's get into what makes the 1981 P. Mint Mark Quarter stand out. Like most quarters, the 1981 Washington Quarter was produced at multiple mints, including Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. But the Philadelphia Mint, which is marked by a small P on the obverse side of the coin just above the date, produced a large number of these quarters. You might think that since so many were made, they wouldn't be worth much. However, certain factors can make these common quarters highly valuable to collectors. Point one of the main reasons in 1981 P Mint Mark Quarter can be worth a lot of money is its condition. Quarters in uncirculated condition meaning they haven't been used in day-to-day -day transactions, can be worth much more than their face value. Uncirculated quarters that have retained their original luster and have no scratches, nicks, or discoloration are especially valuable. These coins are usually found in coin rolls, coin sets, or collections that have been carefully preserved. The grading of a coin also plays a significant role in determining its value. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect coin that shows no signs of wear even under magnification. For example, a 1981 P. Washington quarter in high grades, like Mint State 65 or higher, can fetch a premium price. Coins in grades of MS 65 and above are highly sought after by collectors because of their rarity and pristine condition. Another factor that can make a 1981 P quarter valuable is the presence of any errors or variations in the coin. Mint errors occur during the production process and can include things like off-center strikes, double dies, or planchet errors, where the metal disc of the coin is flawed in some way. These types of errors make coins unique, and collectors are often willing to pay a premium for them. For example, an off-center 1981 P quarter or a coin with doubling in certain areas like the date or lettering could be worth much more than a standard quarter dot let's get into the specifics of what some of these coins have sold for in the market a 1981 P Washington quarter in mint state 65 condition can sell for around 15 to 25 dollars depending on demand and the quality of the coin but if you find a 1981 P quarter in an extremely high grade, like MS67 or MS68, you're looking at values that could reach into the hundreds of dollars. A flawless coin graded MS68 could bring in upwards of $500 at auction, because coins in such a high grade are extremely rare and desirable. I in addition to high grade coins, quarters with mint errors can be worth even more. For instance, an off-center strike or a double die error on a 1981 P quarter could make the coin significantly more valuable, with prices ranging from 50 to several hundred dollars depending on the severity and visibility of the error. Collectors love these error coins because they add a unique story to the coin and make it stand out among standard quarters. If you're wondering where to find one of these valuable 1981 P quarters, the best places to look are in your change, in old coin rolls, or even in coin collections that may have been passed down to you. You can also check with local coin dealers or coin shows where collectors often trade or sell their coins. Online auction sites like eBay or dedicated coin auction sites are also great places to find and sell rare quarters. When it comes to selling a 1981 P quarter, Make sure you know its grade and any unique features it may have before you put it on the market. Having the coin professionally graded by a trusted grading service 
like the Professional Coin Grading Service or Numismatic Guarantee Corporation can help ensure you get the best possible value for your coin. Value in Market $2.1 million In summary, the 1981 Washington Quarter with a P, Mint Mark may seem like an ordinary coin at first glance, but it holds the potential to be worth a lot more than its face value. The key factors that can make it valuable are its condition, grade, and any mint errors. Quarters in high grades or with unique errors are especially attractive to collectors and can fetch significant prices at auction. So next time you come across a 1981 P quarter, take a closer look. It might just be worth more than you think.